はい、ありません、ご声援。ポルシェのボディーブース。Guys, welcome back to Six Cars. And if you could see that line of Porsches behind me, we've got a pretty special event. We're at the Porsche Experience Center Tokyo for the 75th anniversary of Porsche.、Uh, they're doing a lot of these meets around the world. So, this is Tokyo's big event. It's really sick. There's tons of cool cars. I'm staring at some incredible cars right now, actually. But、uh, we're going to enter the main part of the Experience Center. We're going to get on the track. We've got tons more cars lined up, as you can see behind me. And it's gonna be epic, guys. Some of the rarest and most collectible Porsches of all time. So if you aren't already, subscribe, like, comment, share. You already know what to do. Let's get to it. All right, welcome. Yokoso, Porsche Experience Center Tokyo. Let's go check out some Porsches. Yo, have a look at the lineup here, guys. As soon as we arrive, we are greeted with pretty much every single of the modern. GT3 RS. So, start with the 996, probably the rarest of the bunch because there's only a few hundred of them made. And they all came in white with either the red stripes or the blue stripes. That's really cool. The 997.1 GT3 RS, orange and black, classic spec. 997.2, that's really cool. This is even cooler. The 997 4.0. So, at the time, I mean, now. Obviously, all the modern ones are 4 liter, but this had its own unique engine back in the day. I think there's only 500 units of the 997 RS 4.0, so extremely rare.、Uh, they're all white or black, too. So I think this is probably the purest form of the GT3 RS. So sick. Love the little livery you get with it, too. And then these little canards up front, that was unique to the 4.0. And check out the lava orange 991.1. We've got the lizard green, 991.2 facelift, and then we've got the most modern, up to date one, the brand new 992 GT3 RS. I'm pretty sure this is the one we saw back at Automobile Council in the launch spec, but still very cool to see again nonetheless. Saw all the different GT3 RSs, and then we've got a whole lot more. A lot of PTS here, actually. This is awesome, the 901. Japanese police car. This was a official police car, I believe. I think there's only like two of them. So extremely rare. And still in its original state. But yeah, 930s, 964s, 993s, and just a lot of PTS we can see around. Tons of cool builds. You know what? Even the parking blocks here are finished in PTS, which is really cool. The baby blue 993 Carrera RS. Look at the brown, brown 996 Cabrio. That's amazing. Brown cars, severely underrated. They tucked away in the back here, you even got a special edition 718 Cayman GT4 that they've dubbed the tribute to 906. So, the 906 classic sports car that raced for Porsche back in the 60s, I believe it was, at Le Mans. So, that's really cool. They've obviously done it up in a similar livery the white with the yellow hood, yellow accents, and then the gray stripes down the side. And then, check it out. This is obviously a Japan special because they've got the 1967 Fuji Speedway sticker on there. So, obviously, some significance. I'm sure it must have won a race back at Fuji in the day. Very cool. Look at this guy stepping inside the Porsche Experience Center. We've got the 917 KH. Now, I don't know, legit or not, maybe like a Porsche Commission recreation. Who knows? If it's real, then you know, it's just worth an insane amount of money. <laughs> No price tag on this. If not, it still looks incredible. It looks identical to the original, but it's just so cool to see. Probably one of the most recognizable Le Mans cars of all time, and especially in the Golf livery, too. One of the best known racing liveries ever. Just such an incredible looking car. And then, as they shift around behind us here outside, yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff, guys. So,、um, let's get to it. Okay, I wanted to start with this Ruby Stone 993 because it's、um, obviously very unique, as you guys can see. It's a Strosic Auto body kit. I think we've seen a Strosic car at Daikaku before, so some really interesting body modifications they do to these cars. It's interesting, it does say Carrera RS in the back, so not sure if it's a legit RS or not. You can see, obviously, that huge selling point there is that crazy looking speedster top that they've done to it. They've got their own wheels on it, and then as they come around to the front, 
those tiny little circular headlights is something that Strosik does to pretty much all of their Porsches. But yeah, a classic Porsche tuner on display. They're very cool. Now you've got some classic Porsche race cars on display. You've got the 904 there, really nice. The 924 Carrera GTR, which is a really cool car. It's the huge intake, the wide body on there, and then classic turbo fans. Such a good look, a really cool car, extremely rare too. You can see, sort of see down there is the side exit exhaust, had a cool feature. And then check it out, the original Porsche 935, something that a lot of body kits have tried to replicate over the years. This is the OG and the Jägermeister livery too, of all things, probably maybe the most famous livery for the 935. So that's really cool to see. And then more turbo fans, can't get enough of these BBS. Black with the gold accents, so sick. Yeah, you can see inside of the 935, pretty bare bones, <laughs> obviously. It's gonna be racing, not too much in there, but one of the most legendary Group 5 racers for sure. That huge, huge wide body at the back, that big old wing. And then there's the new body right there, the new 935 track only special. And this one's interesting, black and gold, sort of like John Player Special. But yeah, you can see just how huge the wing is, full carbon fiber at the back, big carbon fiber rear diffuser. Look at these exhaust. It's like jet thrusters. The uh, burnt titanium finish on it is really sick too. That is so, so nice to see, my goodness. They did the old one justice, I think, with the new recreation. And just front look at the 935, so cool, so sinister. I like how there's no headlights on the top. You just have the little ones down in the bottom there. It just makes the car look so evil, I love it. These louvers over the front fenders too are really sick. And as we shift over here, a lot of Le Mans prototype history here. So this is the 962 Alpha. So pretty much a recreation. It's not one of the originals, but it's pretty bang on. It's identical and I think, I think this is road legal too, which is just really, really sick. But obviously a 962, one of the most successful sports cars of all time, winning them on. And then over here, we've got another tribute to it, and a really special one. This is the Chupon 962 CR, so Vern Chupon, extremely famous race car driver, won them on multiple times, I believe multiple times. But um, yeah, this was created sort of like in his honor and a nod to the 962 their own take on it, a street legal version. So you can see obviously there's quite a few differences to it, but it keeps the essence of the 962 and just looks epic. Um, I think there's only like a dozen of these worldwide. Very, very cool. And then there is the most recent Porsche 24 hour Le Mans winner, the 919. This car is incredible. I mean, it looks amazing, but it's obviously just insanely fast too. If you guys remember, uh, a few years ago, I think it was, I think it was Timo Bernard, the driver, they took all the restrictions off the 919, sent it on the Nürburgring, and it did something, I think it was like a 5 minute, 14 second lap time, and the whole video looks fake, because it's just, there is no car that should be able to turn that fast. And yeah, it's just, it blew minds basically. So this car is extremely special and a great way to cap off this awesome line of historic Porsches here. Gotta get a back look at the 962s as well. It's just so raw at the back of the old school prototype Le Mans cars. Really not much there, just the cut rear bumper, that massive rear diffuser, ton of ground effects on this car on top of obviously the huge wing in the back creating a lot more downforce. And then the road going tribute, the Chupon 962 CR. It's got a really cool back end and this is really interesting. Actually, just notice this, it looks like they've put a rear view camera on the back of it. That's uh, pretty interesting. But I love the new wing they built for this car too. Just um, how it flows with the body lines. It's really, really sweet. And the side mirrors hanging off the roof pretty much while attached to the door is really, really cool. It must be really hard to get in and out of it, but um, man, doesn't matter. Just looks sick nonetheless. Yeah, so we saw at the start of the video, just in the background, all of the cars that are lined up are on the track here at the Porsche Experience Center. 
super sweet. We are gonna get down there in a second and do a huge walkthrough, but first we're gonna walk over there to the main stage where they got some really, really cool cars on this place. So let's head over there first. Okay, at the main stage, guys. Very, very cool cars on display. Start with the 930 Turbo Flat Nose or the Slant Nose, as some of you may know it. Very rare to have that different configuration on the front. You can see the nose swoops down. 997 GT2. Absolute Widowmaker. It's wrapped in baby blue. It's not factory color. It still looks good. Came in GT4 Club Sport. And then we've got the Hyper Car Trio over here. Look at that. Got the 959, the OG Porsche Hyper Car. And beside that, we've got the Carrera GT. And we've got the 918 too. It's also fitted with the YSEC package. So get some extra aero, the carbon fiber lip at the front. And then also we've got the carbon fiber rear diffuser back here. And look at that, it's got some rubber on it. Looks like he's been getting some track use out of this thing, which is awesome to see. Not a bad lineup, guys. Not bad at all. Across from the hypercars, check this out, guys. Itasha 911s. Very, very cool liveries. It's got all the different girls and their cars painted on the side. Looks awesome. And then check this out. Look at all the details. It's like a manga, actually. Printed across the whole car. You can see the different action scenes from the manga on it. How cool is that, guys? So much detail goes into this thing. Characters on the front. Then there's the pink one as well. Again, there's so much detail. The art on this is absolutely incredible. No idea how much time it would take to do something like this because you see you've even got the Porsche models printed on the side there too. How cool is that? Wow. So we saw the Itasha cars, guys. Obviously, our, is a big centerpiece at the main stage here. But this is an incredibly special car and a worldwide debut, actually, for a brand new RWB kit. And it's designed in collaboration with Daniel Arsham. So super famous artist collaborating with a super famous Porsche tuner. And what's cool and unique about this RWB, the first RWB to do the slant nose conversion. And my goodness, it looks so good. The five spoke rolls on it great. But then check out the interior. The whole interior is almost like this turquoise Tiffany blue. The whole thing is absolutely amazing. So I know Daniel Arsham is really famous for creating some interesting sculptures where there's like crystal holes sort of in it. <laughs> Um, but this one doesn't have any of that. It's just a very clean build. And he's a huge Porsche guy, I know that, so it just makes sense. And look at that RWBA, so A for Arsham. That is so good looking, guys. My goodness. Yeah, you can see some of the artwork behind me here. You can see Daniel Arsham with Mac Kaisan together driving the car. It's so cool. Very, very cool way to debut this collaboration here at a very special event and obviously we saw before the 911 art cars over there in the manga livery what do you guys think about that i'm sure there's going to be some opinions so let me know in the comments but that is the daniel arsham rwb if you walk away from those very cool art cars Got the OG 91 Career RS, finished in white with the blue accents. Very cool. You can sort of see where the new livery on the GT3 RS has come from. Got the red Carrera GT. Always nice to see another CGT. Interesting uh, Boxster. Um, cool looking wheels on it, but then this roof rack setup he's got is really interesting too. It's like sort of, it's like mounted onto the rear hatch pretty much and to the roof line really interesting but um there's another really cool porsche new 911 right over there that i want to go show you guys right now okay here's a really cool car i've been wanting to see this for a while because it's making waves the new 911 dakar so this new wave of off-road sports cars is really cool you got this in the huracan strato so basically supercars sports cars built specifically for off-road from the factory. It's really random that this is sort of a new thing, but it's so cool. And this one's based on the Carrera 4 GTS, so it's got the three liter twin turbo flat six in it, and you can see how lifted it is compared to regular 911s. I mean, just crouch down here and check out 
that massive ride height, huge shocks, huge suspension. It's a very, very cool car. And obviously the Rothman delivery is a nice touch too. Now you shift around to the back here, see the rally tow hook. And then yeah, you've got this stone guard covering the, re the rear end of it, obviously. Meant to do off-road, you're gonna need that for sure, kicking up a lot of dirt. Man, it's a really, really cool car. Again, it's a really random new trend that's taking off with a couple of these brands that have done this car now, or the off-road sports car and supercar. I think it's awesome. What do you guys think though? Hit those comments below and let me know. It's got the row of PTS 964 Carrera RSs here. So we've got the Ruby Stone or Ruby Star Red. It looks like pink. 964, that's an awesome color. We've got the speed yellow over here, which also has the matching speed yellow roll cage in the back that you can see there. Really, really cool. And then this one's maritime blue. Probably one of my favorite Porsche colors, I would say. There's a lot of different shades of blue, but I think this one's really nice. It, it's very like light and dark at the same time. It's really hard to describe. Might just be how the different light changes it. Nonetheless, it's really cool. We've got the white one over there too. Okay, so we've sort of made our way over to the Experience Center track here where we got a lot of Porsches to check out. I guess I'll find the coolest ones and show you guys. Um, start off with this silver and black 997.1 GT3 RS. Kind of throw me off because it looks like he's changed to the 0.2 lip here, but it is legit. Also, silver on black. I've never seen one in this spec before. Extremely rare, very cool. Yeah, plenty of GT cars along here. You can see all different GT3s. How about this? One of the original Widowmakers, the GT2 RS, and check it out, the red painted wheels on a GT2 RS 997. Really cool. Carbon fiber hood was standard, but then he's switched to these Sparco Pro 2000 bucket seats, which just look epic. And the red matching roll cage too, just accents the wheels perfectly. And then there is that glorious engine sitting back there in the GT2 RS, so sick. Yeah, the Martini livery on the 997.2 GT3 looks really good. Now you can see what I was mentioning about the different lip on the front there that the 0.1 RS had over there. He's got the 0.2 lip on it. Silver 996 GT3, super underrated. Um, these are going up in value though. Uh, 996 GT3, severely underappreciated, really cool car. Got the RS, another 996, another 991.1 GT3 RS. Just keeps going and going here at the Experience Center. I don't know what PTS this is, but man, it looks good. Sort of like a greenish gray. Almost like a mix of like olive and fashion gray. Someone can help me out with that because I've never seen that before, but it looks really good. And I just want to spin around here quickly and show you guys this 997 GT3. Uh, my personal favorite generation, but this guy's done the full cup build. Underrated feature, that center wiper is really sweet. But then yeah, we've got the center locking wheels, the canards, Got the full bucket seat in there, roll cage, and then obviously the big GT wing on the back. And it's street legal too, so <laughs> this will look pretty damn sick driving around Tokyo. Hey guys, so it's a bit overwhelming. <laughs> There's a, a lot more cars than I thought there was. They've really filled up the entire track, I think, so. Uh, it's gonna be a big walkthrough guys, <laughs> but there's so many cool cars obviously all different generations all different PTS colors and everything It's gonna be cool. So let's get to it find the coolest stuff we can find here Okay, so I have to start off here with this 964 because this is I believe a one-off color. It's not ruby stone red. It's much brighter actually It's sort of a hot pink Not sure how well it shows up on the camera, but we did see the ruby stone 964 before this is much lighter and there's a lot of cool details. I mean, you can see the Carrera RS writing in the back is actually in pink. The seats, if you can see, it's like three different color tones on it. And then also the steering wheel inside too. You can see it's sort of like purple up top, gray in the middle, and then pink on the bottom there. There's so many cool little details on it. And then yeah, he's got the Speedline wheels on it. They're spaced out too, so the car just looks so good. If somebody knows the name of the color, please let me know because it's really cool looking. I mean, look at this, guys, 993 Carrera RS. We've got the green 997.1 GT3 RS over there. And then it just, it just keeps going and going. I don't even know where to stop. And look, there's a lot of interesting colors. 
so many different kinds of variations of 911. We've got some Boxers and Caymans too. Gold and the 997 Turbo Cab is really cool. Oh, let's go have a look at this wide body actually. Yeah, look at this guys. I'm not even sure what to make of this. It's a Boxster, but then he's modded the front to sort of look like a GT3. He's got his own like custom louvers that are literally just cut into the fenders. And then, yeah, this huge, crazy, like, silhouette-style wide body at the back. All the matching paint inside on the dash, the door handles, all of that. As we head around to the back here, you can see just how thick it is, too. Interesting rear lights as well. And then, not sure why, for some reason, it says Cayman GT3 on it, even though it's a Boxster. <laughs> it's cool nonetheless, I guess. <laughs> You look at that, we've got the baby blue, it's Riviera, Mexico, Voodoo, one of those threes. 993 GT2, got the 911 Speedster and the Heritage Spec paint job. GT2 RS. And this is a roof CTR Yellowbird. Not yellow, finished in black, but you know, that is the famous name for it. But just an absolute widow maker, of course, roof. I think you guys all know it. Just crazy, crazy 911s that they build. All custom though, like it's, I believe it's their own bodywork actually, so very, very cool and stupid fast too. Um, I had to show this 718 Spider behind the CTR as well, just because obviously like another PTS is really cool, but then I just love how bold the Japanese are with their specs. I mean, he's got like the acid green seat belts and then you can see the plaid pattern with the green accents. He's gone and done his own green and black floor mats too, sort of looks like Demon Slayer. <laughs> Um, very, very cool. Look at this GT4 RS. Again, I'm sort of stunk with this color. There's just, I think we've seen about a hundred different colors so far at this event. Uh, it's like a dark turquoise almost. Very, very nice. And really, really looks good on the new GT4 RS. I think this is the first PTS one I've seen. So that's very, very cool to see. Look at all the cars, guys. I mean... I should have started filming earlier because um, I didn't realize they literally looped around the entire track. Um, brown GT3, very cool. So I'm going to walk around and catch as much of these cars as possible for you guys and see what we can get. There's just so many. Nice Cayman R there. Yeah, there's mm, close to a thousand cars, I would say. So um, <laughs> let's, let's keep on trucking. 50th anniversary, 911, and Look at this part of the track we're on here. It's like a little miniature Nürburgring Nordschleife that they've built here with the carousel. It's really cool and incredibly steep. I feel like I'm walking at an angle. <laughs> you saw this one from up top. Um, Viper or Signal Green, I believe. And he's got the old school Go Delivery plate on the front. Very cool. Look at this, we got another Carrera GT hiding at the back of the track. So that's why you walk the whole track, ladies and gentlemen. You never know what you're going to find hiding back here. Uh, I think that's our third Carrera GT we've seen here today. And then we've also got a purple 996 Turbo. Really rare, I don't know what purple this is. On the red brake calipers too. Very interesting look to that. And then yeah, Carrera GT. What, need, what else needs to be said? Iconic. Look at this 996, guys. Hot pink, the Gumballa rear wing, Gumballa exhaust, and then the matching interior, matching seat belts, matching hat. Look, even the speakers are painted in pink. And then, yeah, look at that Gumballa GTR in pink. On the BBS wheels, too. What a flex. Blue 996 GT3 is really nice, too, but I mean, look at that thing. Oh, that's wild. Boom. Look at this fun 997 Sport Classic. So I'm sure you guys have seen the 992 Sport Classic by now. This one's a lot better in my opinion and I've not seen one before just because they have not delivered them to North America ever. So pretty hard for me to see it being from Canada but finally I get to see one. They all come in this sort of light gray with slightly darker gray stripes and obviously the classic five spoke wheels and that really, really cool duck bill at the back. I mean, obviously it's called Sport Classic, so it's paying homage to the old 911 generations. I think there's only 250 of these ever delivered, so it's extremely rare. 
And this is a real surprise. I was not expecting to see this one here. Very cool. 964 turbo with the big wing. Get the yellow 993 Carrera RS. And then I think either Maritime or Yachting Blue. 968, rare car, very cool. Just keeps going and going, guys. Just look at the greens on these two. My goodness, the 964s. The shades are so interesting. It's like a sort of a dark and a light turquoise on these two. Really, really nice. I think we've seen just about every single PTS color you can possibly get at this event.